What to do if you lose your pet? How to reunite with your best pal? When your beloved dog strays from home, it can be a traumatic experience for both of you. In this video, we will tell you how to find a missing dog. Number 10. Put all prior commitments on hold. Your everyday tasks aren't as important as your animal's life. Ask relatives or friends to look after your kids. Take time off work. Postpone your wedding if you have to. Do whatever it takes to make time to search for your friend. Before you begin a wide search to find a lost dog, make sure they're actually gone. Your dog may be trapped somewhere inside your home, garage, yard shed, or elsewhere on your property. Give a thorough search and consider carrying some of your dog's favorite treats or toys with you. Once you've determined your dog has in fact escaped your property, check your neighborhood, parks, schools, and other nearby areas. Consider that the artificial boundaries you wouldn't cross, industrial zone, neighbors, property, etc., pose no barrier to a dog. If an area is accessible, there's a chance your dog may have wandered in. Of course, be sure to ask your neighbors before searching their yards or outbuildings. Number 9. Don't panic. Keep calm. For many pet parents, a lost dog is the ultimate worst nightmare. So, it's understandable that you may be feeling frightened or anxious right now. That panicky feeling you're experiencing means that your nervous system has detected a threat, losing your four-legged pal and is preparing your body to spring into action. And that's a very good thing. However, if the panic and anxiety associated with a lost dog are experienced for too long, these states may ultimately be harmful to your own health and counterproductive to your efforts to find him or her. Above all, try to remain calm while you take the necessary steps to find your dog. Number 8. Make copies of the cleanest photo you can find of your animal. Head to a store where you can print photos from your phone. Print a photo off your computer or use a copy machine if you have to. Make sure the picture is in color, accurate and clear. Ask shelters to save the photo wherever they keep pictures of lost animals and post it on their bulletin board. Expand your reach even further by placing lost dog posters in high traffic areas. Ask local shops, coffee shops, grocery stores, restaurants, and your local library if you can hang a poster. Think of places in your vicinity that attract a lot of people from both near and far. One of those people just might recognize your dog. Number 7. Advertise. This might seem like a no-brainer, but you want to make sure you have done it right. If you think that flyers are too old-fashioned to work, think again. These work when you use them right. You are after two things, to get your flyer seen by the right people and for them to recognize your dog when they see it. Make sure to print a good amount of flyers, at least a hundred, so that you don't need to waste time reprinting. Make sure your flyers stand out as much as possible. The best way i found is to use very large font and bright colors. Place your flyers at eye height in well-lit areas. You want to cover at least the areas where a lot of your neighbors go, shopping malls, parks, etc. And the place where your dog ran away. If your dog ran away before, you can also go to the area where he or she was found again. Post notices at grocery stores, community centers, veterinary office, traffic intersections, pet supply stores, and other locations. Also, place advertisements in newspapers and with radio stations. Include your pet's sex, age, weight, breed, color, and any special markings. Don't go it alone. Find help. Put out the call, go door to door, send emails, and engage your social media network. It's amazing how many pets have been found following a posting on Facebook. Check for various local and regional lost pet Facebook groups and post photos and detailed information there. When describing your pet, leave out one identifying characteristic and ask the person who finds your pet to describe it. Don't include too many details. Just write lost cat or dog, color, reward, and your phone number. Renew the ad before it expires. You can run a lost ad on craigslist.org, too. Check the lost and found ads in newspapers daily. 
Pet FBI, Pets Found by Internet, is combining databases with helping lost pets to broaden the search for owners who lost their furry friends. Pet FBI, a Columbus-based organization, began 21 years ago and is continuing to help owners. Number six, don't skimp on the reward. How much could you scrounge up for an emergency surgery or a necessary car repair? You'll have to cough it up if you want to hear from people. We're talking about your little angel here. This is not a time for economizing. Offer a reward, whatever you want, but protect against scams by omitting an identifying trait in your pet's description. If someone claims to have found your pet doesn't mention the omitted trait, he may not have your pet. Be wary of people who insist that you give or wire them money for the return of your pet. Number five, locate all nearby shelters, rescue groups, and animal control agencies. File a lost pet report with every shelter within a 60 mile radius of your home and visit the nearest shelters daily if possible. To find your local shelter, search online or check your phone book. If there is no shelter in your community, contact the local police department. Provide these agencies with an accurate description and a recent photograph of your pet. Notify the police if you believe your pet was stolen. Number four, visit each animal shelter every day. Shelters may assure you that they'll notify you if your animal shows up, but don't count on it. Shelters are very busy and workers may not make the connection between found animals who are called in or turned in and your lost animal. Ask to see shelters lost and found records. Be persistent but polite and don't give up. Your animal companion is counting on you to step up when it truly matters. Number three, search the neighborhood like you've never searched it before. Walk or drive through your neighborhood several times each day. Ask neighbors, letter carriers, and delivery people if they have seen your pet. Hand out a recent photograph of your pet and information on how you can be reached if your pet is found. Talk to everyone, mail carriers, people walking their dogs, neighbors, and delivery people. Ask children if they've seen your cat or dog. They're often more observant than adults. Use a flashlight to search small places where animals might hide, inside drains or sheds or under porches or parked cars. Go outside at night when it's quiet and call your animal's name. Listen carefully for the faint voice or whimpers of an animal stuck somewhere. Keep in mind that pets are often afraid when they're lost and find hiding places, usually nearby. Dogs look for sheds or vacant spaces and come out when it's dark to search for food, usually on roads, says pet detective Carl Washington of Augusta, Georgia. Number two, flag and update your dog's microchip. If your dog is microchipped, now would be a good time to call the microchip company and alert them that your pet is missing and ensure that your contact information is up to date. If your dog is not microchipped, please have it done as soon as you can. Microchips are a safe, simple, inexpensive, and reliable tool to help get lost dogs home and keep them out of shelters. Microchips the size of a grain of rice can be implanted under your pet's skin, usually between the shoulder blades. They transmit an identification code and the phone number of the appropriate registry via radio frequency waves. Number one, how to ensure that your dog is never lost again. Understandably, you'd probably like to avoid this situation and prevent your dog from ever getting lost again. So be sure to do the following to prevent your dog from getting lost again. Ensure your dog is always wearing a high quality collar with a dog tag that contains your phone number and or address. Microchip your dog and additionally equipped him with a GPS tracker, since these are not the same thing, but are both essential for any pet owner. Take frequent walks with your dog so that they get enough exercise and satisfy their curiosity and adventurous side. Keep your dog restrained in a special dog seat or cage during car rides. Check your gate or fence regularly for weak spots where he or she could possibly escape. Take photos of your dog so that you have them in case he or she goes missing. 
Do let us know if any of these have helped you in finding your pup. Or if you know any other tip to find a missing dog, please share. And please subscribe to Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.